You know, this is one of the prayers which we have made in an application file before yes, the court, which I would like to address you on. Well, Lord, today, repeatedly, it has been said that the doctors are not going back to work. The first statement I wish to make is the state of West Bengal has acknowledged in its reply that we are all back at work. No. I would like that I statement. One right, no, second. Sorry. Yes, it is. No, Mr. Mr. Mehta, it is linked. I'm trying to explain what accounts for the 51 day delay in their going back to work. I'm making a statement. I made a commitment on the last state of hearing that they will hold a general body and take a decision to go back to work. I am discharging that obligation by making a statement in writing that they have all gone back to work and the state That's of this report has acknowledged no. that in a reply filed by them today. So that issue, my lord, can be put to rest. No. Secondly, my lord, now the question is, what about the repetition of what happened last time? It is in that context that we say that the people who are being investigated by the CBI, seven in number, are still in employment. And all that we are requesting is, this is the reason they didn't go back, because these people who are under investigation are still in employment in Archicot. And we only request temporary suspension of these people pending the inquiry so that we can go, we can go back there with a sense of confidence that they will not target us. Lord, I know an undertaking has been given and I make a statement we've not been targeted. I've made that statement a lot. But how does one expect them to work in the same college when the same people who are under investigating are still Lord, in positions of power? Therefore, only they should be suspended. Lord, I know that no disciplinary action should, can be taken against them until a proper inquiry is held. But surely, my lord, they can be suspended to inspire that confidence. Let's hear Mr. Gravy. Yes, Mr. Mr. Next one, regard, we have not in, 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 in this language, but we have hinted at that, my lord, that uh, if your lordship comes to page 7, just, my lord, uh, at the top of uh, the page, doctors belonging to so-and-so and also members of so-and-so, they claim that they tried to specify the agitating training doctors. However, the agitating training doctors allege that aforementioned doctors were working on behalf of administration and also obstructing protests. Further investigation is. Well, let's possible. leave aside the protests. It's not restricted not to, to RG Corps. Corps. It's not restricted to RG Corps. No. The people in positions of power are in positions of power with regard to the medical examinations, the examination board, the, uh, uh, the corporation that takes tenders, and the West Bengal Medical Council, my lords. Mr. Uh, Solicitor, by the next date of listing, My this is something on which you must apprise the court. I mean, who are the people, even on forget whether they were involved in any con any conspiracy to hush up the murder, or uh, that's a very important aspect, but keep that aside for a moment. Are there any people presently who are under investigation, who are in positions of authority in the hospital? against whom there is an allegation of involvement in financial irregularities. Oh, oh Milod, with the crime. Or with Both. The first crime. Inside Both and outside the hospital. With cover-up and the financial irregularities. Both are yeah. crimes. Both yes. are financial. Either of the crimes or both of the crimes. So, so let us know because then... So let the CBI uh, indicate, Milod, to ask, Milod, who are those people and we'll, Milod, That's then uh, take... No, a, we'll give them the names and see. Yes, yes, we'll give them the names, there's no problem. Sir, Mr. Solicitor. Ultimately, any action has to be taken by the state government as the disciplinary authority. For us to issue a direction of a general nature right now without being in possession of full facts would be really to take over that jurisdiction of a disciplinary authority. So I think it would be appropriate if at this level, at least there is some sharing of information yes. Yes, I on what with the, uh, with the state yes. government. So that then they can, because suppose they were to take action and there is a petition challenging that action. The first question would be, what is the basis on which you have acted? Right. Second, of course, you can suspend in anticipation of a disciplinary inquiry, but they must have some material. Have you, uh, as a state government, have you taken any call on uh, any disciplinary action against well, We were told about five doctors. They have been well, the suspended. Action have been taken. Rest, if CBI, as and when they tell us well, something specific against them or that they have been made accused, because investigation is very wide. Who are the five doctors in RG Corps whom you have suspended? Who are the five persons? I'm sorry. 
The recommendation is with the head of the postmortem is supposed to be the head of the TED culture. Sir, there are many more than that. My Lord, we are willing to share the names with my with the state of West Bengal. And my Lord, if they are not suspended, they can at least be asked to proceed on leave during this pendency of the CBI inquiry. Because my Lord, otherwise we'll be told again and again, you're protesting, you're not going back to work. My Lord, it's been a big effort convincing them to go back to work. We've succeeded and, and they have gone back to work. But the reason I'm raising this issue is, my Lord, I don't want to come back to the court and say it's happening all over again. So let them just go on leave. I will give the names. Please give the names that, to yeah. the CPI. No, and I will give the names as well, my lord. Chief Justice is saying it's for the state. My application 21387 is specifically on this issue, on behalf of doctors working across the state of West Bengal, where we have named specific individuals who are involved as part of the so-called mafia syndicate nexus, whatever my lord seems to call it. But this is the specific issue that we have identified. That the underlying motivation and the interstate nexus, not intrastate nexus, which is singularly responsible for what has ultimately happened, needs to be investigated. We have identified individuals in our application. That is the application number 213387. Now, so presently, we are looking, right. presently, we are looking at two aspects of RG Core. One, the actual incident which took place. Please. And the issue of financial irregularity. Yes, this goes beyond our job. It does go beyond our job. Absolutely. No, no, today, so, it's a question of doctors going back to work. The only question is that today, if we if we expand the investigation across other hospitals, Please. then we'll be in a situation where CBI will be left with an impossible situation. We are focusing on RG Court, but rest assured, thereafter, we'll see on what further to do. You have moved that application. That's important. At this stage, I think what you can do is you can, Mr. Solicitor, you can look at the uh, you can look at the IA so that you know if there is any further, if if you know there is a need for broadening the investigation, you can apprise the court and then we can pass whatever supportive orders are necessary to effectuate that purpose. Sorry. Because if this part if this is a part of a broader of a broader nexus, either intra or interstate, then certainly this is a matter which we'll have to entrust to the CBI. Uh, of course, but before we do that, we must have some uh, concrete materials yes, from the applicants uh, that we there. must share with the CBI. You know, because, because we have been cautious, we have been cautious in sharing the material because of the investigation is pending. I said on, I have it in writing, but I'm not mentioning because the they names. Are, they are not going to take action because of the various doctors or groups of doctors or associations who are coming up with their own grievances and asking. No, no, ask no, no, there no, and no, there. No, no, just a minute, please. On the last occasion, Malod, when the doctors met, Malod, the CM, the Chief Minister, Malod, then they requested transfer of the Cal Commissioner Police, the DC North, the Director Medical Education and Director Health Service, all of them have been transferred. Malod, they Malod. wanted resignation, now, my lords. Now resignation, dismissal, removal. Okay. So that's the whole problem. But he was given a... No, no, Malod, no. Malod, the Commissioner of Police was given that, promotion. Know, for an inquiry... With, with, that somebody right. suppose that is challenged. That yes, is exactly. right? The resignation has no. Would that even stand? Has Martin. action which is. And this is what they are not making any such demand. Any such demand. Let them go and leave. Just allow it. Demands, my lord. Now this is all of them signed it. Yes. So this is what they gave to us. We gave it to your lord. Lord, I mean, last may I just with your lordship? Please. Now further, my lord. As in when, my lord, the CBI gives us, my lord, any information about any person, my lord, however high or low. Of having been involved a lot in something, or that a lot his presence is not required, he should be removed, or he will be taken. It would action no, will be I taken would only against request, them. My Lord, I would only no request, difficulty. I would request my Lord them to yes. give me those names in a sealed cover. I will pass it on to CBI. No, and to the state. This one, a fourth status report dated 30 September 2024 uh, by the uh, DIG. So, head of branch, special crime dash one CBI has been submitted to the court. The status report indicates the leads on the investigation, which are being followed up by the CBI and the steps which have been taken in the course of the investigation. Next. During the course of the hearing, Thomas, learned counsel appearing on behalf of the resident doctors have submitted uh, mm -hmm. their concerns to the effect that uh, full stop. I just don't say that learned counsel. Uh, 
without uh, full stop. At this stage, it would be inappropriate. Uh, at this stage, um, where the investigation is in progress, it would not be appropriate to set down the details of the investigation or the leads which are being followed by the CBI, since that would compromise the status and effectiveness of the investigation. Good stuff. Uh, at the same time, uh, learned counsel appearing on behalf of the resident doctors, uh, don't say at the same time, the CBI, comma, as it appears before the court, is conducting an investigation on two facets, colon, first, the, act, the alleged rape and murder which took place on 9 August 2024 at Ajikor Medical College and Hospital, and second, uh, the allegations in regard to financial irregularities, uh, which was also entrusted for the investigation of the CTI by the Orders of the Division Bench of the Calcutta High Court. To stop whether each of these are completely disconnected uh, features or whether there is a relationship between the two is a matter again of investigation by the CBI. Good stop. During the course of the hearing, Amma, Learned Senior Counsel, Learned Counsel appearing on behalf of the resident doctors as well as their associations have drawn the attention, have drawn attention to the fact that, have drawn attention to the fact that uh, several persons against whom there are serious allegations of misdemeanor in the, um, in the medical college and hospital are still occupying positions of responsibility. Good stop. The status report which has been submitted by the CBI indicates that several, as several of these aspects are still under investigation. Stop. Uh, responding, to the, uh, uh, responding to the submission, the submission of the doctors to the effect that the persons in positions of responsibility at the medical college and hospital should either be suspended or be directed to be uh, direct proceed, on proceed on leave uh, is a matter which would require uh, examination by the state government as the as the appointing and disciplinary authority. Full stop. Uh, Mr. Rakesh Dwey, the <laughs> learned senior counsel appearing on behalf of the state of West Bengal, has submitted that uh, if, if the CBI would share with the state government uh, such preliminary material which would indicate the complicity of any person in uh, persons in positions of authority, comma, the state government will duly take necessary action in accordance with law, consistent with the service rules and regulations. We'll stop that apart, comma, uh, in the event that it appears that the, that, 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 that the, that the irregularities which are noticed uh, in the context of the RG Corps Medical College and Hospital uh, 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 cover not just the, uh, the hospital in question, hospital and medical college in question, would extend to other such institutions within the state, within or outside the state. So uh, the court may be uh, uh, the the investigating team of the CBI may be informed uh, along the modalities which have already been prescribed by the earlier orders of this court. Uh, thereafter, comma the court may take a call on uh, what further directions to the CBI uh, would be required to ensure that the investigation covers other aspects which may, which may travel uh, beyond the uh, incidents which have taken place at the RG Corps Medical College and Hospital. Good night, Akash. Well, well, I have well, a request to make. Just record yeah, yeah. 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 Now, well, sorry, I have one request. Well, uh, we are, uh, it's a uh, application. The a fresh application uh, being IA number? 21338-7 of 2024. 21338-7. 87 of 2024, right. which has been uh, filed in that regard, uh, is taken on the file. Great. Uh, full stop. Details of the IA may be shared with the investigating officers of the CBI. Investigating officers. Lord, your lordship may kindly record. My IA number. I have